welcome everyone in short review of infectious diseases and today's disease is measles measles is infectious disease which is caused by rna paramyxovirus and incubation period of measles virus rna paramyxovirus is 8 to 12 uh, 12 days mode of transmission is respiratory droplets measles is spread through droplets and transmitted from nose throat mouth and someone infected with the virus so measles is spread in this way through droplet in the form of droplets now clinical features for the measles is a cough conjunctivitis and coryza so we can remember it with the help of this mnemonic of three c's one c stands for cough and second is coryza third one is conjunctivitis patient present with cough with coryza and conjunctivitis occurs in the patient along with coplic spores now coplic spores are gray whitish spores on buccal mucosa patient will have mucosa involved that uh, uh, in the buccal side grayish white spot will be formed and those spores are known as coplic spores coplic spores manifest two to three days before measles rash occurs itself and it characterized by cluster white lien with buccal mucosa involvement opposite to first and second molar teeth so buccal mucosa is involved with a blistering formation and grayish spot formation these spores are coplic spores which are clinical features of measles pathogenomic feature features of the measles are rash and fever patient will have fever and exanthem these are maculopapular rash on the body of the patient with a uh, nape of neck and behind the ear so this is most important thing that these rashes are present behind the ear in the patient of measles xanthem rash xanthem rash spread downward and fade in the same manner now what can be the complication of measles measles complications include otitis media the most common complication is the otitis media occurs in the patient and then bacterial pneumonia can occur in the patient is a complicated measles and encephalitis can happen in the baby and subacute sclerosing pain encephalitis can be there in measles uh, patient so these are the complications of the measles so once patient develops measles how we can treat first of all we have to give supportive treatment to the patient means we have to rehydrate and give antipyretic in order to treat the fever of the patient then vitamin a should be given to the patient because measles can cause vitamin a deficiency and corneal involvement can be happen and prevention by measles vaccine measles vaccine is in uh, administered in the patient in uh, if it is baby it in six to nine month of the age so it can help in prevention of occurrence of the measles so in this way we can prevent measles and uh, treat the and cure the patient of the measles so it is infectious disease and the mnemonic for measles is cuff conjunctivitis and coryza so this is mnemonic for measles clinical feature that is cuff conjunctivitis and coryza three c's so that is measles and in next video we will discuss another infectious disease so stay connected do subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned